Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about state management in React and also why you may not want to reach for context right away when we're talking kind of global state management right here. So we are going to be looking at a, a little package called Jota and they talk about it here as being a little bit more of a minimal API. It's TypeScript oriented and a little simpler to use than something like maybe uh, React context, which could be a little bit of overkill depending on your needs. Now, there are some other advantages of something like this. They talk about it uh, as an atomic state, and you can see down here, they're actually called atoms, like the particular uh, pieces of state you'll be using here. Um, and all that uh, language revolves around that, so use atom and stuff. All right, so normally you might reach for uh, React Context here, which is kind of the main package uh, for kind of global state management right now with uh, hooks. Uh, and you do something like this, where you uh, have a provider here. I don't know if you can actually see that here. And then all your kind of global state would be within this provider here. Now, one issue you might run into with uh, this kind of pattern is that anytime you update some sort of state, all of uh, the state within this is going to re-render. So you might not want that. And that's kind of where this Jotai uh, package really, really shines. So uh, you can create more atomic state. So instead of re-rendering your entire tree, you could just re-render the very um, slice of information that you might uh, be updating at that time. So uh, that's enough talk. Let's get into actually building something out right here. All right, so I just have a basic uh, Next app right here. This will work with any sort of uh, React you're working with, so it doesn't have to be Next, uh, but that is what I am using here. So I just have, I've added this components folder and I'm gonna have two components, one and two, very simple right there. Uh, and then I have my pages here and we are going to import that right here. Uh, this, we're gonna import one right here. So that is all I have done, I think, so far. So uh, nothing too crazy. So the first thing we're gonna do to get started with this is import the package. So I'm just gonna say yarn add and I'm gonna say a Joe tie like that. All right, so that looks like that was all good. We can close, uh, we can actually run yarn start, see what this looks like right now, or yarn dev rather. And we can open this up at our local host. And you can see we have our two components, so that is looking good. All right, so coming back into these components right here, and you can see we are just importing this two component into this one component. Uh, I just want to show you how, uh, unlike props, you don't have to pass anything down. We're just going to get the global state and import it into uh, these files. All right, so let's create this global state. So we're going to create a file up here just in our uh, root directory here. So we'll go like this and we're just going to call it atoms. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, we're using TypeScript. You can use JavaScript, doesn't matter. So we're going to come in here and we have nothing in here yet. So let's import uh, Adam from Jotai. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, create kind of our base state of the global state that we want. So let's just say const like this, and we'll just call it test Adam for here for now. And then that's gonna be equal to Adam. And then we're gonna just pass in uh, zero. And we'll just create a little counter component that we can pass on uh, down here. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna export that. And you'll say test Adam, what we named it up there and then we go ahead and save that. So this is the entire setup uh, for our global state that we're gonna be using. So pretty easy right there. And if I had another uh, piece of state that I wanted, I could say uh, test to Adam. You can call it whatever you want, obviously, and you can say Adam, and we can have, you can do a string. This will be your initial state, right? Do something like that, or you could toss in uh, like an object or something. Really, any sort of state you might use. Okay, so that is fine. Let's go ahead and save that. Now, let's actually uh, bring some of this state in to uh, our various components right now. So uh, let's come in to our components here, and let's go into two. And in here is where we're gonna bring in a couple things. So let's come up uh, below here. And let's say import, and you're gonna import uh, use atom like this, and that is gonna be from Jotai like that, and then you're also gonna import the uh, we call it test atom, so we call it test atom here, and that was from uh, dot dot slash atoms like that. 
Okay, so now we have uh, our particular atom and uh, this use atom hook that we're going to be using. So you can use this hook exactly like you might use uh, use state. So we're going to say const and we'll just say value right now and we'll say set value. And that is going to be equal to use atom like that. And then here we're just going to pass in that test atom that we're bringing in uh, right up here. So we're going to pass that in as the initial state. All right, and then finally, because we're doing a counter, we want to wait uh, to increment this. So let's come down below here and we'll just say, uh, we'll give ourselves a button here. And in here, uh, we can just say uh, increment like that. And then just like a, uh, any kind of counter you do, we're going to do an on click here. And that's going to be equal to, and we'll just do an inline function right here and we'll just say set value. So this is exactly how you would use like use state, except for it's gonna set this globally. So we'll just go value and we'll just go uh, plus one for this example here. So if we go ahead and save that, that's all we're gonna wanna do right now. Uh, so let's go and check that out and let's actually get our value going right above here. So we'll say, uh, we'll just do a, uh, we'll do an H1 here and we'll just pass in uh, the value there. Okay, so let's go check that out. All right, so you can see right now we have our little increment button here. Uh, we have the value of zero, which is in our global state. And then now we can just increment this like this. And that is going to set our global state just like that. So again, this state is gonna be available anywhere our, in our app where we bring in that test atom that we created. Anywhere we bring this test atom in, we're going to have access uh, to that value that we're setting. So we could bring that in to one. Let's uh, bring this over again. We can bring this over to one if we wanted right now, and we can uh, import this here. All right, so we can bring this in here. Uh, so now we have access to uh, both of these, and we can do the same thing. We can say uh, const, and we can call it something else too. Uh, so we can say num like this and uh, set num and that's going to be equal to uh, use atom and this is just going to be the atom we want to use again which is going to be that test atom just like this. Now if we come in here below the one right here we can just pass this in this num in and we should get the same number again. Let's just double check that. All right, so now you can see next to this one right here, we're getting the same number and they'll both increment. So you can see it is being set globally. All right, I think that is about it. I really like this kind of pattern. I'm actually using it in a uh, couple side projects and it is uh, very effective, I think. All right, so that's about it. If you like this video, give it a like and maybe shoot me a subscribe. And uh, yeah, until the next one, uh, thanks for watching.